Mom Shovel and welcome back to my second channel. Today we have a special video and it does include her. Although, sorry Star, I'm not really centered so I have to cut you off. A little while back I bought a DNA test kit to find out what breed exactly Star is. What I know for sure is that she is at least part Bombay and maybe also part domestic short hair and maybe that's it but we're gonna check the results now and see. I did this a couple months ago and it has been eating me alive to not check the results every single day. Okay, we're in. Star's profile ancestry. It looks like she's mostly one thing. If that's what these little, if that's what these rings around her, <laughs> look at her picture. We detected two breeds. It's literally only two breeds. I don't know why I assumed there'd be just like, I don't know, we all saw my ancestry. And if you didn't, I'll republic that video. She's not Bombay. <laughs> she, this, she's not Bombay at all. She is 90% domestic short hair and 10% Burmese. They told me when I adopted her that she was part Bombay. And when you Google pictures of Bombays, she looks exactly like them. I'm in shock. What? Oh my God, all of her ancestries, just domestic short hair. I guess that's your average cat. Where's Burmese come in though? We didn't detect any known genetic health predispositions in Star's DNA. Good, good, that's good. We performed 28 genetic trait tests on Star's DNA. We learned she's a very good cat. <laughs> You're so right about that. Okay, coat color and type. We found one special coat color variant because she's a solid color. Long hair. She is not. Long coat possible, short coat likely. Oh, it says discovered in the ragdoll in Maine Coon, which she doesn't have either of them. She is just short hair. Um, I did have a, a part Maine Coon, Rocket, who was long hair. Star's jeans say she probably has a long tail. I don't think she has a longer tail than a normal cat. It feels very average. Extra toes? Star appears to have the most common number of toes for a cat. Oh, so that's normal. So she's just normal. She's just a basic cat. I thought that this would be way more interesting. I thought Bombay would be in there. Well, I thought this would be a longer video. I thought that there would be more to talk about. I thought there would be so much more to discuss and Google. I'm gonna go Google what Burmese cats look like because at least that much I don't even know. Whoa, they're funky looking. Whoa. So this is uh, what we're looking at with Burmese cats. She does kind of in the sun have a brownish tone to her, but I do think that's normal for a black cat. It's called rusting, actually. I could see maybe in the face. That's what made me think she really was Bombay, is this kind of like rounded eye and ear shape. Here's what Bombay cats look like, because I feel like this, oh, that's a place, whoops. How is this not her? How is this not her? How is, what is the difference? What, what is just domestic short hair even mean? Is Bombay, Bombay's a different thing. I'm pretty sure it's not the same thing because her face looks exactly like this one. But that also looks like every black cat I've ever seen, basically. Okay, I guess when you Google Bombay, it does say Bombay is a short haired breed of domestic cat. Does that mean that she could still be Bombay? Is this like a coloring thing or is this different from domestic short hair? It feels different. Closely related to the Burmese. I just don't even know who she is anymore. <laughs> Star, did you know you're not Bombay? I mean, I adopted her six years ago, but they, they were like, the only thing that we know for sure is that she's Bombay and domestic short hair. Cat breeds are funny though like that. Sometimes we break down cats by their breed, but when you get to domestic short hair, you break that down by color pattern. So you can have tabbies, you can have orange tabby, gray tabby, you can have calico, you can have tortoiseshell, and I think that those are all domestic short hair types. I don't know if Bombay is a similar thing. I feel like they look different though. Their shape is different. They were bred to look like a panther and I felt like that's what she looked like. Like, look at, look at this. Look at this girl. She's big. I thought that finding out she was Bombay for sure would confirm why she's such a big cat. I just think that sometimes they are. She was napping and I just disturbed her and she's just laying so limp in my arms. <laughs> All right, I put her back. I'm sorry. Oh, 
now she's mad. All right, I'm sorry. You know what, the more I look at her, the less round she looks in the face. <laughs> like I always thought her ears were kind of rounded. Oh, she, oh, she just fell. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right, well, those are the results of Star's DNA test. Um, I thought it'd be more interesting than that, but this was fun. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!